What's up everybody? Hope you're having an awesome day. We are currently towing a Range Rover out to a client's home right now. But I just wanted to jump on here because a lot of you guys have asked over the last couple years, what's in Grant's garage? So today's episode is Grant's garage and here we go. what's in Grant's garage. So first off was my first car that I'd ever bought with my own money. I was working up at Sioka dealerships, my freshman year of college for my internship. And I saw this grabber orange Mustang with GT stripes. Uh, it was a convertible come on the lot. They had just traded in. It was actually my third day at work uh, at Sioka. And I saw it come on the lot and I fell in love. And I might add, I had never driven a manual car before. I didn't even know how to drive stick shift, uh, but it was a, a five speed. It was uh, just a car that I just had to have. So that was the first car I ever bought. I went in the next day. I actually took a loan out and worked my ass off that or that summer to pay it off. Uh, but I bought that car and I still have that car today. It's got about 95, 96,000 miles on it. I actually did some big Brembo kit uh, brakes to it on the front and rear. Uh, we just went through and did a drive shaft and all those other things, but I have gone through full suspension on that car. It's pretty lights out. Uh, it's not fast under any means, but uh, for especially being a 4.6, but at the end of the day, it is a car that I absolutely love and a car that I will never sell. Uh, so that's my 2007 Mustang GT convertible. Uh, after that, I've driven that through college. I drove that to my, through my first job. And at my first job, I decided, hey, I can't be driving this in the summer. So that was when I was in the pharmaceutical industry. I mean, I'm sorry, I can't drive this during the winter. That was when I was in the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, and I was like, well, I gotta get another car. So I went and bought a 2013 WRX. That was in, that was a used car, certified pre-owned. Uh, again, from Sioka dealerships, the only place I really buy my cars if I'm going, if I need a warranty or certified. So went out to Sioka Subaru, saw that car, loved it, bought it the same day. Uh, it started out as a, a 2013 WRX, uh, which has now become my baby. Uh, even more so than my than my Mustang, but it's you know fully custom front to back that car. So it's had a transformation, especially within the uh, through the last year. It's had a big transformation. Uh, but that's my 2013 WRX, which you guys see all over the place. Uh, after I bought that and started getting into the business, I decided, hey, I think it's time to expand out even a little bit more. So. Uh, after that car, well, you know what, I'll save this car for last because it's probably my favorite car of them all. Um, but in the last year, I guess we could say, what else have I added? Well, the car that we're driving in right now, which is my 2003 Ford Excursion. Uh, I saw this car, my client has had it since day one. He bought it brand new uh, and it only had 62,000 miles on it. Now it's a 6.0 diesel. This thing is a beast. It's now our, 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 uh, our truck that we tow with. Uh, I drive it all throughout the winter. I've already put, what, 7,000 miles on it in the last six months. Uh, this is like riding on a couch. It is my, you know, one of the coolest things I've ever driven. I never owned a diesel prior to this. Uh, so this car I, or this truck, I absolutely love. Um, in addition to that, when I was out of my mom's garage and I had those eight cars dropped off uh, from the dealer and she kicked me out, I went and bought a school bus. That's right, a mini school bus, which you guys have seen as well. Uh, I bought it from a non-for-profit school up in Ben Salem. So I bought that, brought it home, painted it black, looks horrible, uh, but I just unloaded paint on it. Uh, it's actually tractor paint too, so I don't, we haven't even buffed it. We've had it for probably three or four years. Uh, so I got that, tore the whole inside out, uh, You know, put floors down, seats in it, sound system, power inverter, uh, even a TV in it, heat. Uh, I went crazy with that car or with the bus, and, and that's that's just something that we do mobile details in as well. Uh, I actually threw my Harley in there, went down south. That thing's gone uh, halfway across country and back a few times. Uh, so that's my school bus. It holds 500 gallons of water. Yeah, it holds a 250 gallon water tank in the back. So we'll we'll take a walk around in that thing too, um, especially because I just got uh, custom upholstered seats for the back, which is funny. So that's kind of like my fun toy. Um, and what are we going to be putting inside the school bus? Hopefully this winter we're going to be fabbing it out is my smart car. Yes, I have a smart car. It's a mini WRX. Uh, the goal for that is to be able to put it inside the bus and drive to shows and pull it out. Uh, it's, I like goofy, weird, weird cars. That's just what I'm into. Um, so that's one of them. Uh, the next car on the list, which I just recently acquired was a 2011 hatchback STI. 
Uh, that car was fully built out from one of our good friends and now client debt. Uh, he had that car since brand new, about 18,000 miles ago, went full blown, big turbo, uh, pit, big pistons, like just went absolutely nuts on that car uh, and ended up getting the brand new 911s. So he wanted to sell it and I had no choice but to buy it. So that car is actually out getting wrapped right now. We're going to get a video of that later out at CJ, our buddy CJ through Greater Garage as well. And then the absolute beast monster of a car that we have been raising a ton of money for cancer with and has been a bucket list car uh, for my greater garage business partner, John, uh, is our 2015 PDK GT3. Now, talk about a platform, man. That car is absolutely wicked. Uh, we've been having a ton of fun in that car. We've already put you know, probably 5,000 miles in it since we bought it a couple months ago and that car is just lights out. Uh, I've never driven a car, been in a car like that in my life, especially one that you own. It's a lot different when you get in a car that you don't own and push it. Uh, it's a totally different experience when you know it's your own and you get to absolutely beat the shit out of it. Uh, and that's what we do with that car. So that's our 2015 GT3. So what's in my garage? Oh, I forgot about the motorcycles too. We got uh, my Harley Road King, which was my dad's. That was his pride and joy. Uh, that that was the, when he passed away, he told my mom, the only thing out of everything he had, the only thing you cannot sell ever is that Road King. So that Road King came into the shop, I actually sent it out and got the whole thing gone through. Um, we'll go through that story another day too, but that, that bike's in our shop as well. Uh, and then I have a, a Goldwing, a Honda Goldwing. That's what I call my grandpa bike. Uh, all my uncles, we go down on a different a week bike trip every year or every other year. So I needed something. I drove the Road King or had to trailer Road King actually in the school bus last year. Uh, and this year I was like, you know, I can't do that. So I bought my grandpa bike, uh, which is my Goldwing. So where do I start again? So 2007 Mustang GT, uh, 2013 Subaru WRX, uh, 2011 Subaru WRX or STI, um, 2000, I think it's an 11 smart car. Uh, 1990 school bus, 2015 GT3, and then this beast of a vehicle is my 60 2003 excursion. So that's Grand Garage. Uh, we'll make sure that we pull once we get them all back in one spot because they're always out getting something done to each one of them. We're always continuing to build and make them better. Uh, but when we all get them centralized in one location, we'll make sure we walk around them and, and give you guys a little more insights on Grant's Garage. Thanks again for tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, keep shining.